Hello folks, welcome. So today's video is about verification of ISO files. Um, I'm going to be doing this with a different twist as I normally do with a lot of things. I'll be using text files first and then I'll show you the graphical way of this file manager how to do this. But uh, generally it's used to verify images to make sure that when we download these quote ISO computer images they are legitimate or files that um, you know from the respective Linux distributions are, are not been tampered with. So I'm going to be using SHA-256 for this method but I'm going to start with text files and show you the simplicity of it and then we'll move into that but a lot of the graphical file managers may have these tools on Linux distributions but some do not. So I'm going to start this with terminal and you'll see that it's fairly simple and then I'll do this in a graphical toward the latter part of the video so you can understand the whole concept and hopefully we'll have a little fun doing this. So filming in 1080, welcome. Subscription keys in the corner. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is digital signatures. So I have a text file for you and again feel free to make a screenshot if you like. Um, I'm going to try to explain what 256 SHA-256 sum is. It's sometimes called a hash. Um, sometimes um, we can also refer to that as basically a digital fingerprint. And what I'm going to be using is a text file with a very simple word in it. And I'm going to verify that both of these are the same. Even the copy file is the same. And I'll be showing that. A, a practical use, of course, is going to be doing this with ISO files or computer images. But again, feel free, you back this video up, hit pause, do a screenshot. All right, so we're going to start with text files, these two. What's, what's in them? Not much. It's the word hello. Filming in 1080, by the way, folks, as a reminder. Adjust your YouTube player if necessary. So the copy of this, I just made a copy, and it says test copy txt, has the same word in it. And we're going to verify that these are identical. And uh, I can use two methods to do this with. Graphical, a lot of your file managers support those kind of tools and some do not. We're going to start with terminal. Oh no, not that. Yes, so you can understand that. So if you're using some other distribution that doesn't have a fancy file manager, I'm going to use control shift and plus to make it larger for you. So Sam is our user for today and the name of the computer is LM22. All right, so if I do an LS, that's just list contents. It will list the contents of Sam's home folder. The stuff in blue are called directories or folders for short. So we have test with a copy and test with a TXT. So what I'm gonna do is this should be built in is the um, SHA-256 sum is the command and the word test.txt. That is the digital signature for that file. 66 alpha is the first three digits. I'm not going to repeat the whole thing as a test. And uh, 35 franc 18 is the ending. What about this file? Now, since that has a space and brackets, you'll see an extra little tip for you in your file manager, or at least this terminal, will display that little funny looking mark on the side. If we don't know what that is, go take a look at your keyboard. To the left of your enter key is your quotation, but underneath there is another symbol. There's a single quote on it. And we're gonna to have to use that to get this processed properly. But what happens when you don't? So if you type in SHA-256 sum, which is the command, space, and then type in that test, and then space, bracket, copy. We're trying to copy this exactly the way it's being displayed. And uh, sorry, it went too far, dot txt. We're gonna get a syntax error. What that means is the born again shell doesn't understand what we're doing. It says you goofed. Well, yeah, yeah, we did, or I did. Syntax error, doesn't understand what I'm typing. So to fix this, we need to SHA-256 sum 
or you can hit the upper arrow key to repeat and then back up. Um, we're going to have to use that single quote and then type in the file name. Test space, in this case, copy bracket dot txt. Do not forget the other side, which is another single quote. So you're covering it from both ends. Single quote starting, single quote entering, or exiting. Or a little tick mark, if you want to call it. That's my nickname for it. Now that produced another hash, or a 256 um, digital signature. 66 alpha, 35 franc 18. Guess what? They match to a T. Now let's do something more legitimate. Let's uh, go and find our download folder. So what I'm looking for in graphical are these two files right here. So one I downloaded from the MX website, another Linux distribution, and one from Linux Mint 22. But I need the actual uh, numbers on Linux Mint's website to verify the Cinnamon desktop ISO. So let's go there. I have a shortcut using a web-based icon. If you haven't heard of web apps, they're available on all the Linux Mint products. I have lots of videos on my YouTube site. This is a web-based icon to my home router. Anyways, we are going to go here and we got the verification right there. They're just a bunch of numbers. The number I'm looking for though is this one because that's a cinnamon ISO. You can see Mate and XFCE. We're going to use that information to our benefit. I'm going to punch up clear because it's busy. Hopefully you understood what I did with those two text files. I was just matching them up to make sure the digital signatures match and they do. All right, now I'm going to do another LS. Now I have lots of folders or what we call directories. So CD, change directory. And I have three different directories that start with D. I have desktop, documents, and downloads. I'm just showing you a, a shortcut. So if I use the uppercase D, um, that's still not enough for me to hit tab. It doesn't do anything. I'm hitting the tab key and nothing happens. So I need a couple more things because we're aiming for downloads. That's where those puppies are hanging out, the ISOs. So if I put in an O, that's still not enough character. So if I put in a W, then it knows it's downloads if I hit the tab key. Then hit enter. You can type the whole thing if you like. Now I'll do another LS. So Linux Mint 22, sorry, Linux Mint dash 22 dash cinnamon dash 64 bit da, dot ISO is a mouthful to type in. I don't want to do that. I'm going to do another shortcut. The first thing I'm going to do though is the, um, I can use the upper arrow key to repeat the commands that I just punched in. And I can use that SHA-256 sum if I wanted to erase those with, with the back arrow. Or I can just type the whole thing. SHA-256-SUM. One space. Since none of the other files are, um, okay, first of all, these blue things are directories. So my iPhone uh, I did a video on KDE Connect, I want to say a week or two ago, if you haven't seen that one, how to take photos from your iPhone and dump it into Mint, uh, that kind of thing. And these are computers. Anyways, these are folders or directories. These are files in white. But I don't want to type that whole long name. So I just type in L-I-N and hit the tab key and it fills in the rest of it. Then I hit enter. And it's going to take a second to calculate. Let's compare the two. I still have Linux Mint's website open for this verification. 7alpha04. 7alpha04 is the front end, ending with 29 Bravo 8F or 8 franc. 29 Bravo 8 franc. Well, that's exactly what we have for front and back. That file matches. So we can uh, uh, go with the hash to uh, SHA256 matched on that ISO image. What about the MX? Well, we can do the same. So I will close and uh, find DistroWatch. Do I have a shortcut? Yes. Uh, I like DistroWatch for just a link. It's kind of convenient for the major distributions here. We're going to go to the MX website. I don't use the popularity factor, by the way. I've made mention of that many times, but it's a nice convenient thing and it do give you a nice summary here. 
Anyways, website is also here. Download section is here. I downloaded this image. It's currently sitting in my download folder right here. This is MX23XFCE. I just wanted to clarify that. So it's that file there. Down below, they also have verifications. Theirs are a little bit different than uh, Linux Mint, but nonetheless, this is the file I'm looking for. So I want that number highlighted. I'll kind of put it down to the bottom here because I'll put the terminal box on the top. So you can see that number underneath here. All right, same deal, SHA. 256 sum space and I don't want to type that mx-23.4 blah 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 I just type in mx and hit the tab key it fills the rest and hit enter and the verification is 93 echo 9 starting 93 echo 9 is what's being displayed on their web page ending with the ed ed ending with ed ed these files are also legitimate according to 256. Now let's open up your file manager and we can do this in a graphical way. And why didn't I start the video like that? Because the fact is that you can use this information on other distributions. And more importantly, um, Linux Mint makes an XFCE desktop. And sometimes these little tools are not available on all file managers. And this one, if you type in verify, Let me try to type in verify. There it is. The VE is good enough. Uh, this is a locked uh, managed symbol. That means you can't uninstall it. Okay, that will be grayed out. But you can turn it off. So if it is not on by default, you can hit the plus key. Just make sure that um, the verify is on and then you can right click on there and you should have that symbol when you right click on the ISO. Right click on the ISO. I say that twice. All right, so the first thing it's going to do is calculate a 256. And you can see that's a 7 alpha 04 ending with 29 bravo 8 franc. Well, let's go back to Mint's website. And uh, we know where that is, hopefully. Down here. Highlighting the number, pulling up the verification certificate. And it is 7... A04 that matches and 29B8F, 29B8F matches. Okay, so that is that image. What about MXs? Well, same thing. We're do letting it do a calculation. It doesn't have any files sitting here, so we're going to need to go to their website. So most of the uh, Linux website, I wouldn't say all, but most, you can find that kind of information somewhere on their website well, for all the major distribution anyways. So here's MXs, <clears throat> download section, and they have a verification side also. And again, we're looking for that, uh, I think it's this file here. So the SHA256 for that one is 93 echo ending with EDED. 93 echo ending with ed ed we do have a match so i'm pr fairly confident that there is uh, no problem with this image again all i'm doing is using sha 256 today you can find more information about that online feel free to make a screenshot of this document if you like just explaining those two text files and more importantly what this is used for again most of the main use people do that for ISO downloads or computer images. Thank you for watching.